All right, my friends, so today, today, I think that camera is not perfectly straight. Maybe I can just straighten the table out. I'll just turn that, maybe that looks better. Yeah, that looks better. Uh, we're looking at the, I'm gonna say this wrong, Sabenetech, maybe, Smart Mic Plus. Now, we've done a lot of wireless microphones on here. Most of them that we use, of course, on like actual cameras, so DSLR cameras and mirrorless cameras, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, but this one really looks like it's designed to operate with iOS and Android, so really, your smartphone. Right, and there's a lot of people out there, and and I was on holidays just recently, and I think I was the only person that was shooting video and photos and stuff on an actual camera versus a smartphone. Everybody was just using their smartphone. So if you're one of those people and you're like, I wouldn't mind getting better audio, this this may be something to look at. So we're gonna crack open the box, see see what it was, uh, what it comes with, and we're going to. Um, Try it out. Yeah. All right, guys. So here it is, Sabenetech, Sabenetech, uh, the best best seller, Sabenetech Smart Mic Plus. And I'm guessing maybe it comes in multiple colors because mine looks more grayish than these ones here. Uh, you can get a two pack. That's two pack, right? Uh, they sell gimbals, they sell mixers, but there it is. You're looking at. 175 ish dollars right now uh but there is a 25 percent off mother's day code if you're interested for not very much longer that looks like 26 minutes so by the time i upload this it's not going to be there but check check it out see see what you can what you can find it's the smallest true stereo wireless microphone all right, very cool. So here's some of their specs. Full band, 48 hertz, four levels of noise reduction, small in size, real-time monitoring, real-time mixing. I guess it can work with a teleprompter because it's not a teleprompter. Real-time transcription, app it all, six hours of battery life, 15 meter distance. So it's not long, long, because it's using Bluetooth, right? So it's not, you know, what you'd get with a traditional, uh, wireless lav mic because those are using uh like a lot of times uhf or vhf things like that did i say that right uhf i can't maybe i i think i think i got those right you know what i'm saying they're using more of like a wireless right um but here here's the box right here you guys can take a look uh the text on the back of the box is really small and i'm realizing as the older i get the uh Harder it is for me to read small stuff like that. Anyways, compatible with iPhone, iPad, uh, and Android devices. So let's crack it open. See what's see what's in this here box. It did win, it looks like, uh, a 2022 Innovation Award at CES. 2020, 2020, not 2022, 2020. So it's been out for a while, but they sent it to us. So I was like, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll give it a look. Smart smartphones, people love their smartphones. I love my smartphone. All right, cracking it open. Really, is that it? Okay. This one looks more whiter. It's got a little pull tab there. It's gonna flip up. Okay, there it is. So you guys can see it. That's, uh, someone, I was watching a different video and they were explaining, I think this is, allows it to hook in maybe like an external microphone if you want to. Uh, or headset, I, I'm not even 100% sure. Uh, there is the little QR code. Do you guys see that little QR code right there? I'm gonna scan that because I'm curious. I'm curious where that's where that's taken me. So if I do that, that is really small. Oh, it did see it though. You search this, it did not find anything. Cool. All right. So that that didn't that didn't help me at all. Just so you know. All right, so you get a tiny little wind muff, which is excellent. Oh, so it must be like a little monitoring thing. So let's say you want to put this in your in your ear so you can hear it. So a little monitor, that, that would be my guess, right? So you can hear what it's picking up. Uh, you get a micro, micro USB cable. So again, this came out 2020, so a little older. You get just your standard little foam protector. And I would think this is something you'd want on here pretty much like all the time. There's a little microphone on it. There's your charger, just so you guys can see it, right? I would say this goes on it. You'd, you'd probably keep this on pretty much 90% of the time just because uh, it's gonna give you this, just that added protection, especially even for little things. You're like, well, there's no wind. Sure, but it's all about that and things that we get like pop filters, right? My microphone up here has a, has a 
standard foam filter on it. All my mics, really, most of my mics have a foam filter on them. Um, and of course, this one you would use if you went outside. And we may take this outside just to just to give it a test because it is a little a little windy outside. So that's kind of cool. What else do you get in here? You get two little pamphlets. Throw that stuff over there. This is the. It's funny because I'm like this looks small. The manual. This is what's funny, right? This is the manual. That is really small text. Like that is really small text. Okay bunch of languages, manual. And this is the quick start guide, which is like 900 times the size of the manual. You would think those would be the other way around. But quick start guide, all right. It's nice though. Main features, aspect ratio, filters, parameters, camera settings. Uh, my guess is all we need to do is, uh, oh, you can, oh, you can. If it, it says here, or it looks like, you can put it in a different mode. So I think if you have two of these, if you have two of these, you could use one as a transmitter and one as a receiver so that you could plug it into an actual, as you can see here, right? You can plug it into like a traditional mirrorless style camera. Okay, that's cool. But other than that, I think you and I are just gonna, we're just gonna rock it out, rock it out. That's what we're doing. Step one, scan the, scan the QR code to download the S mic plus app. So uh, that code that I got on the arm thing didn't didn't do anything. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to download it. It's called the S mic plus S mic plus ready. Well, there's a smart mic plus that it says I, I have already mic not connected. I'm guessing I'm guessing this is it though. Okay. So my curiosity says, uh, I wonder if you could use this one, this app here, right? You can spin it. I'm guessing mic not connected. Um, or if you could use other ones like uh, Filmic Pro, because Filmic Pro has the ability to utilize um, your uh, Bluetooth microphone. So resolution, oh, it's so let's check this out, right? So the defaults are really low. So I'm gonna set that up to 4K. Uh, filters are not supported, yeah, that's fine. Uh, I want 30, that's fine. Video bit rate, let's go high. Uh, dual camera mode, well, that's cool that you can do that, nope. Anti-shake, yep. Video file format, doesn't really matter. Grids, no, don't care, 16 by nine. Yep, 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 excellent. Uh, I think that's kind of it in there. So we could just set that up and... So to first off, be aware, if you're using their app, which I, I'm guessing you would want to, uh, just make sure that you actually check your settings. If not, you'll go record a whole bunch of stuff and it'll be in 720p. Oh, you do, you can put a little teleprompter in there. Oh, that's a pretty cool little, cool little app actually. All right, that's handy. And then this, this, I'm guessing this is the power button. So my guess is we shut that down. We go into settings. I'm gonna to try to do this without using the manual because that's what I like to do. We're gonna to go to the bottom. We're gonna turn this on. There it is, Smart Mic Plus, tap. Connected, cool, right? Now, first and foremost, first and foremost, before we do anything, we're just gonna use the camera here on the iPhone, and this is just using the standard. So this is at arm's length. You guys are hearing what the audio will sound like just out of the uh, iPhone. I'm gonna put this down here on the table a little bit. All right, so this is, I'm, I'm, I'm back a bit. So if we come back here, of course, and start talking, my guess is it's gonna be quieter, for sure, right, quieter. Uh, and then we get closer and you guys can hear it, of course. I'm running over stuff on the floor. Okay, um, cool, right? Now, let's go into their app. My guess is now that we've turned that on. Yeah, so see, I, hopefully you guys can see it. It does say, oh, new version of firmware is found. Yeah, update, let's, let's do that. So I'm guessing it's, you got a little percentage thing on the bottom there. So it is updating the firmware. So we're just gonna wait for that to finish because we want new firmware. And uh, we'll, we'll see what it sounds like with this. I'll actually put this, put this on right here. All right, so it's done. It says that it's gonna take about 30 seconds for it to upgrade, hit okay. I guess it showed up, so that means I'm guessing we're good. You can just do, oh, even on the app, you can just do audio if you want, or it can do full video. That's cool, I like that. All right, so let's place the camera back in our in our magic spot here, right there. 
hit record. It does a little countdown, three, two, one. Okay, so now, and it's got little, it's cool because it's got audio meters up and down on the right and left hand side. I'll show you when I bring it down, but really, hopefully you guys can see the video right now. And the audio, of course, now if I move around back here, before the audio would definitely be getting quieter. So having that ability for you and I to move around and still run over stuff on the floor is excellent. So uh, I like the fact that it actually has a little audio meter. So I'm going to bring this over here so you guys can see in the top screen. We're still going to record with this mic, but uh, you guys hopefully can see. You see the little audio meters? There's little meters on both sides going up now because it is. it does record in stereo, right? So that that's pretty cool that you have that ability to see. You do have the ability to see, so you can have this up. And again, you have that ability. I could pop up a teleprompter right there, so play it and get it going. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Now it does say when you're in like 4K mode and things like that, that you can't you can't use any of the filters. I don't use filters anyway, so not a big deal. Okay, so I'm gonna stop that for a minute. Stop. And we're gonna exit out of that app. I'm gonna turn that app completely off. And I am curious if Filmic will actually, cause I like the Filmic app, will actually be able to see or use that. So if we go to audio, it has the iPhone, Bluetooth, if I tap on that, it does have Bluetooth microphone. Okay, Bluetooth microphone. And the, the meters are still going up here, so that's, that's good. So I'm gonna turn this camera around and we're just gonna see if Filmic can hear. This again, would be using this microphone. So I'm gonna hit the record button. And at this point in time, we're using Filmic uh, with uh, the, the smart, what is it, Smart Mic Plus? Um, to see if it's recording and really if it's recording any differently. Because sometimes, you know, Filmix got one of the nicer, I'd say, uh, video apps on uh, for your for your phone. So if you're someone that wants to have that all that that those features, then having a microphone that doesn't work with it may be a real detriment. But if it does work with it, then that could be that could be really excellent. So you guys are now able to hear if it is uh, picking picking up this microphone. Okay, that that's cool. All right, so our last little test, uh, we're gonna finish the video with the last little test, and I'm gonna take this microphone off, so I'm gonna close all this. Uh, I'm gonna take this off. Now, I don't know, this is the only thing that I can't see on this, right? There's no, there's no, like, l is there a light anywhere? I can't see a light anywhere. Just to, oh, there it is, there is a light right there. So it does kind of pulse every once in a while. Yeah, there it is. Just to tell you that it's on. So I was like, I wonder, because how do you know if it's on? It would be nice if it was like on constantly. So if I hold that, you get a little flashes red and then off. So I'm guessing that means it's powered down. So we're gonna put this on it and then we're gonna go outside and we're gonna see what it's like in the wind. All right, cool, let's go outside. All right guys, so we are heading outside. I got the smart mic app going again. I'm trying to keep myself in frame. And uh, the mic's, mic's doing its stuff. It's not crazy windy out, but it is, it is windy. It's windy enough that it would make uh, a definite rustling sound on, on the microphone. Yep, there's some wind right there. You probably will hear it, but it's not going to be crazy bad like it normally would be. So we're just outside testing this out. So uh, what does it sound like? Uh, I did listen to it so far what we recorded earlier on the computer. And I have to say, it actually sounds pretty decent for sure. So I'm pleased with that. Uh, I'm wondering, there's somebody mowing the lawn. I don't know if you guys can hear that over there. You can, that's cool. But I might also do this. Just take this little brick here. I'm gonna put this brick up on the table and poke myself, poke myself in the face. All right, so just a little bit of distance. I can actually still see the meters, which is kind of nice to see if it's, you know, recording. And I'm wondering, because it says about, what does it say, 15 feet? I would say I'm definitely at 15 feet right now, somewhere in that range. And I think by the meters that it looks like it's still picking up. So that's pretty good. That's pretty good indeed. And I didn't do a distance test with Filmic, so I'm gonna switch this around and we're gonna bring Filmic back up 
just to make sure that Filmic was actually using this microphone and not using the actual iPhone's actual microphone. So, one sec. All right, so I got I got it back on my little table stand there, and it did say when I went in that it was using the smart mic, so cool. Uh, and again, I'm just going to do a little bit of a walk. You guys will be able to tell. Right now, I am using the Filmic app, so if you are someone that uses the Filmic app, it'll uh, give you that ability, I would say, to utilize it. And let's just walk till it cuts out. So I'm going to keep going. I can still see the bars going up and down, which is good. Still see the bars, still see the bars, still see the bars. I'm still seeing the bars, uh, still seeing the bars. That's, And I'm at the point now where it's getting hard just to see the phone. So I think the bars are still going. And if it is still working here, I'm going to wave. Hopefully you guys can see it. Um, if it's still working there, then it's definitely beyond. I think it's at 15 feet. So, And it's a Bluetooth, so... Maybe maybe you can get a bit further. That's that's I would think pretty good. Really, this is in my opinion someone that's uh, like vlogging with their phone and you just like holidays. You're out there running around doing your shooting. I'm gonna pick this up right here, right? And you're just like, yeah, I just want better better audio. I want to be able to go out and shoot in the wind and not have that rustling sound that you always get when you're when you're actually just using an iPhone in the wind, right? So that's cool. Uh, that's it my friends. I'm going to uh, leave a link down below if you guys listen to it and you're like, yeah, that sounds that sounds all right. And I, I'm a I'm a phone shooter because you know it seems seems to do the job really well. Uh, that's it. I'm gonna go in, finish editing this video, and uh, that'll be it for me today. Links down below. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the little notification bell, and uh, we'll see you fine folks. Someone is just rocking the lawnmower over there we'll we'll see you guys tomorrow later